All right, welcome back. So this time we're going to talk a little about um, a little bit about two new components called the capacitor and the inductor, just because they do have their little idiosyncrasies within PSPICE. Uh, first off, we'll talk about the capacitor. To pull that up, you press C, and it'll be C analog that you're going to want to get. So I got C analog on there, and it displaced. And we're going to hit Escape again, and then let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. There we go. So on the capacitor, it doesn't really show you which side is positive or negative, but one is positive and two is negative on the capacitor. Uh, when you're setting the values, it'll be in here. This is just one nanofarad. If you want one microfarad, that's just going to be one U for one microfarad. And then there's your negative, there's your positive, and that's that. Pretty simple. Now for the inductor, that's just going to be L, and it's going to be L analog. And we'll drop this right here. And as you can see, this is 10 microhenries, and this little dot here represents the positive end of the inductor. So this dot is always going to be by the positive end, no matter how you rotate it. So if you rotate it like that, the dot will rotate through with it. On the inductor, let's see, you can double click on it. And over here under IC, you can set initial uh, condition values for the inductor. Uh, so you'll be able to set your initial current if you want to. Uh, it also works the same for the capacitor actually so if you double click on that it'll open it you up to the same page basically and you'll be able to set your initial conditions for your voltage and your capacitor that is about all there is to inductors and capacitors that you need to know this will help you in your designs if you're getting a wrong number or something's inverted and you should be getting a positive and you're getting a negative this is what I always go through and check first we will continue on in our next video